Well, good morning there, YouTube. Welcome back to Highwayman Trucking and My Way on the Highway. Just about to start my day here in beautiful Fillmore, Utah. Sunny, clear day, blue skies. Uh, 60 degrees in the morning here. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to go drop this load about five miles down the road. I've got a load of plastic pipe. <clears throat> and then I've got about a 100 mile deadhead south to pick up uh, some roofing material going back to Phoenix. I almost never uh, am able to leave home and come right back. Um, we'll see if I can get out of Phoenix. The market was horrible, horrible yesterday. Um, but just checking in with everybody. Want to thank everybody again for all the new subscriptions. Um, if you're just watching the video and you like what you hear, please feel free to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and share. And uh, as always on my channel, I enjoy comments and dialogue. Uh, your opinion doesn't have to match mine. That's a fact. It's part of this country and what makes it so great. We all learn from each other. I uh, hope everybody's doing all right out there today. Uh, another day with this uh, epidemic and, uh, or pandemic, excuse me. And uh, all we can do is what we can do to uh, feel safe and comfortable with our, our own loved ones. Uh, freight is, I've seen some videos on YouTube where they say freight's insane, and that may be for Van and Reefer. Uh, the open deck market is absolutely horrible. Um, I mean, some of the loads yesterday out of Phoenix were a dollar a mile or less, which is unheard of. I mean, you might as well work for a company at that point. I don't know how these companies are going to be able to make any money doing that by the time they have operating costs and, and uh, pay their employees. I mean, a lot of these company drivers for open deck, you know, they'll make between uh, 44 and 50 cents a mile. It cost me right about 50 cents a mile to run the truck. So if you're making a dollar a mile and you're paying your employee, it's pretty tough out there uh, in the step deck flatbed industry. Um, that, that scares me a little bit uh, for the future of um, some of these companies and drivers. Uh, but they say that the van markets are, are up. Uh, I've heard talk on YouTube, people saying, you know, we need demand higher rates from these brokers. And that's true. But we can demand all we want to, and if they don't budge, they don't budge. And unfortunately, there are people that will haul for dirt cheap and make no money, and it, and it hurts the rest of us. Um, you know, one of the big brokers that I dealt with, uh, which is known for cheap freight to begin with, but they're very easy to deal with. Um, their paperwork submission is easy. Getting paid is easy. I never have a problem. They're, they're the best, in my opinion, in that realm but they're often the worst in prices of freight. But uh, one of the brokers yesterday had a load from Phoenix to Texas and it was right at a dollar a mile. And he says, the last week we've been running these for, for this. And I'm like, you know, with a tarp, are you kidding me? Uh, I'm not gonna work for free. And I know the economy is tanking, but the customers have still not seen a reduction in freight prices. They're still paying the same prices, which means some of these brokers are playing the same game that they've been playing for the last year or so where they're controlling the market rates. And, you know, I, I can't figure it out. I mean, I would have to suspect that they have stake in major trucking companies who can run for dirt cheap um, or in collaboration with them, rather. And uh, it's a damn shame. Um, you know, brokers, are, once upon a time, they made a good living at, you know, 25, 26% of the load. And now I've seen on lanehoney.com where, you know, they're getting 50, 50, 60 percent of the load and that the truck is, is making, you know, the remainder and, and definitely doing all the work. And, and certainly in today's day and time, I mean, we're the ones out here coming in contact with the general public all over the country. Um, I mean, I can't tell you how many pin pads for debit card transactions I purchase or how much cash I touch in a day or fuel pumps. I mean, granted, I wear gloves at the pump, but <clears throat> uh, there's a lot higher risk for those of us out here over the road. We come into contact with a lot more people than you would if you just lived at home and, and uh, you know, went to work every day. So I don't think that's right. I don't think it's fair. And I'd, I'd like to see uh, those of us in the industry kind of step up and band together and, uh, and, and demand better freight. It's not going to affect the customer. The customer is already paying the same price. Uh, the goods aren't going to go up as a result of it. It's just the brokers uh, need to stop being greedy. And uh, again, I get everybody's right to make money, but uh, it's up to us to put them in check 
and uh, say enough's enough. And, uh, so that's on my mind today. Um, we'll get this load delivered and we'll talk to y'all in a bit. Well, hello again, YouTube. We uh, got our load delivered, farm in Utah. One of the greatest things about this job is the people that I get to meet across this country, and especially in the rural areas. It just rejuvenates my faith in America, and I love it. Um, not talking about any bad today. It was just a, a neat little delivery. I wish I could have taken more video, but uh, basically there is a, a father and son that I met first, and uh, then the sons uh, are the, the grandfather and he'd been on that property his entire life and his father had been on that property his entire life his grandfather was a pioneer an LDS pioneer that had settled there in Fillmore Utah and just the neatest neatest people in the world and uh, so I'm sitting there and the uh, grandpa comes up in a big old loader and he parks and the dad went to get uh, a forklift. So tearing down the highway, or the roads, here comes his Chevy pickup. And uh, I've got video here, uh, pretty cool. This little nine-year-old boy had drove that pickup from wherever to uh, where we were offloading. And it was just the coolest thing. And I know they probably thought I was stupid because I just like, wow, you just, you just restored my faith in America. You know, there's so many laws nowadays and don't do this and don't do that. Everybody's got to tell everybody else what to do. And that was just neat to see rural life. That kid's nine years old and uh, he'd been driving for two years. Um, it was just the neatest thing. And I think the little boy probably thought I was weird, but I took a quick little video of him getting out of the truck and he was talking to his grandpa. It was just cool. I mean, just, I meet the best people in, in this job, and uh, that I'm thankful for. It's nice to see uh, the American spirit, the American pride uh, across this country. We hear so much bad on the news and in social media. Here these people are living their life, living a good, clean, honest life, making a living. The grandfather was 78 years old worked every day of his life. His dad worked every day of his life. His son took over. His son was probably in his mid-30s or so. And uh, it was just neat to see and, and, and talk to. And um, You know, I hope these politicians uh, take these kinds of people into mind when they're passing all these laws for the big cities. You know, don't go treading on the little guy and the farmer and Joe Blow and small town America because He's just living his life, taking care of his family. He don't want nothing from you, I promise. But uh, just a really cool day. I had a really big hustle here to get down to my next load. It was about 100 miles away. Uh, we're picking up here in Cedar City. Picked up here a few weeks back when my wife was with me. It's a lot colder then. But uh, anyhow, we're going to get this roofing material loaded and uh, go to a truck stop, take a much needed shower, get some fuel and uh, get on back to Phoenix, hopefully tonight. If not, first thing in the morning, we've got a delivery in Phoenix. But, uh, you know, this trucking channel, it's, it's, uh, it, it is about trucking and my life experiences. And uh, I get to weigh in politically and on current events. And it's not all doomsday and viruses. And uh, just, a, a, it was an uplifting day for me, meeting that family there on that farm. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I wished I'd have taken more video. They were pretty private people, but uh, you know, just great conversation. And I think you can tell it in my spirit. It's just, it's rejuvenating. You know, get out into rural America. If you if you live in the big cities, get out there and meet people. You'll find us some of the the best, hardworking, most God-fearing, honest people in the world. And uh, makes this job worth it sometimes when I when I have days like that. But uh, anyhow. Uh, gonna do a uh, fix it video next hopefully I'll get to this afternoon so stay tuned for that as always if you like the channel please subscribe feel free to ring the bell to be notified of any futures 
always appreciate that dialogue and, and uh, conversation in the comments. You guys have a blessed day, and God bless America.